Hi guys. So today we are making this gorgeous plate of pure bliss. This is a highly customizable recipe and you can make it without any fancy ingredients and with things that you already have. I'm super duper excited to be sharing this with you. So without further ado, let's begin. So now in a bowl, I'm going to add in some basin or gram flour. You can also add in rice flour, cornmeal or maida if you like. And for the texture, I'm going to be using ground suji or semolina. Um, you can use cornmeal or rice flour for the texture as well. Now for seasoning it, I'm going to be using uh, salt, pepper and for the Indian touch, I'm going to be using a little bit of red chilli powder and some garam masala. Now you can use whatsoever you like and you can omit whatsoever you don't like. This is highly customizable and it's up to you. Now uh, I'm going to add in water gradually to knead a very um, hard dough so that you can roll it out really really thin and because we have to ensure that we roll it out really really thin because that ensures that the nachos come out really crisp. So this is how your dough should look like after you're done. I'm going to grease the surface that I'm going to be rolling it out on. And after that I'm going to roll, up, roll it out really, really thin. You can also use cling wrap if this is getting a little difficult for you. And then I'm going to poke in some holes with the help of um, a fork. You can also use a toothpick. This ensures that when we fry it, it's not puffy and it's very crisp. Now for the uh, oil, you have to ensure that the oil is really really hot. For ensuring that and for knowing if the oil is ready or not, you can throw in a little bit of dough and if it uh, does not sink to the bottom and it rises instantly that means that your oil is ready just look at the thinness of the nacho you can do any shape I'm just doing the regular triangles so yeah see the oil is ready here so I'm going to quickly fry the nachos this is how they're gonna look like Now I'm going to be working on our sauce. So I'm going to be making the regular white sauce for this. For this you're going to need some butter and then some maida. And you have to cook the maida until it's nice, fragrant, brown and roasted. Now after it's nicely roasted, I'm going to be gradually adding milk to it and I'm going to be cons consistently stirring it so that there are no lumps. add in the salt and pepper add in a lot of pepper because it tastes really nice in the white sauce so I'm making a little larger quantity of the white sauce I use around half of it for the nachos and the rest half I kept for throwing it in pastas so you can do it accordingly and I wanted to keep the sauce a little tangy for the flavors to work together well so I'm going to add in a lot of ketchup in it and I'm also going to add in a squeeze of freshly lime juice um, you can do anything that you like in this as well but then a little tanginess works well now for the bean toppings I'm going to be using normal 
um, garlic and green chilies and I'm going to be using kidney beans here or rajma. You can also use any other beans that you have at your place. Now I'm going to be making this particular mixture a re uh, really spicy. So I'm going to be throwing in chili sauce and some red pe paprika powder. You can customize this according to your taste. Now for the freshness, I'm going to be throwing in some onions, tomatoes, olives, which are optional and some seasonings and some bunawa jeera. Now comes the easiest part, um, it's the assembling. So I'm going to throw in a lot of uh, sauce, the cheese sauce on top and um, I think that a lot of cheese sauce works very well with the nachos. So I'm going to throw in that. You can also add cheese to this but then I wanted to keep it cheese free. And then I'm going to put in my bean salsa. And our typical Indian salsa. Now for the freshness I'm going to be sprinkling some coriander on top. And also I'm for the look of it I'm going to throw in a little bit more of the sauce. And uh, usage of piping bag is not necessary. So there goes the coriander, freshly chopped coriander and some lime.